and it's kind of nice we can see up to space. Nice clear skies for now at <laughs> least. Carlene, are you enjoying uh, the sunshine? Oh, it's been really nice. And then the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning, Marcella, is just open all the windows because we've had such a nice breeze yes. going. And so we had that breeze today and it was really nice out there. So I'm enjoying the sunshine. I hope you are as well. And of course, when we're out there, just keep in mind that we do have an umbrella nice and handy for tomorrow because we are not going to see sunshine tomorrow. We'll see peaks of it, but we're going to start to have those clouds rolling in. Let's go ahead and take a look at some pictures. We'll get to the forecast in a second, but I want to show off some pictures for tonight. So our first picture that was sent in is by Catherine. Catherine took this gorgeous sunset picture and went ahead and emailed it in. Also, Michael was just strolling by Del Mar right at the coast taking this really nice picture. You can even see the reflection of the sun on the ocean. Thank you, Michael, for sending in this one. And also Kari took this picture in Descanso. I love just the lush green grass. You got the mountains in the background as well as some horses. If you want to go ahead and send in your pictures, whether at kfb.com, I will feature them right here. I'll also have more pictures in the next half hour. So for highs today, we were a little bit cooler than we were yesterday. And if you're like me, you opened up the window and felt that nice breeze out there. So no 80s for the inland valleys today, but 77 degrees for our Escondido, 75 for El Cajon. Still above average, though, especially about 6 degrees above average for downtown at 74 degrees today, 89 for Borrego Springs. For tonight, we still have a few clouds around, but we're going to see more of those coastal low clouds and the potential for fog rolling in once we hit those overnight hours. 63 degrees for downtown calm winds. So you can see see right in the distance that little haze right above the city lights looking west from Otai Mountain that will start to roll in as we go into those overnight hours extending into the western valleys. Everything uh, dissipates by tomorrow afternoon but we will not see as much sunshine as we've had over the past couple of days. A few showers in the forecast, gusty winds with a quick moving storm system for Friday, and then we'll have a chance for showers on Saturday morning before everything clears out for the rest of the weekend. So an area of low pressure steering in that onshore flow brought the dip in temperatures for today. And then that system will just quickly move out as we hit the rest of the next, uh, I want to say like next two, three days, because there will be in between systems. So taking a look at our in-house model, it's suggesting a few isolated showers along the coast, 7 a.m. for Friday morning. And then we get a little bit of a break by the afternoon hours before that next wave moves in around 10 p.m. tomorrow night. We'll be talking about scattered shower activity, relatively light stuff that will go all the way into the overnight hours and still seeing a few isolated showers out there around 7.30 in the morning on Saturday before a much drier afternoon. Taking a look at our eight day microclimate forecast, we will have another chance for showers. That will be on Monday and Tuesday with a stronger system lingering a little bit longer. Light to moderate rainfall is expected before a big warm up by next week, especially for the desert. You'll hit the 90s for the first time this year. I'll go ahead and toss it back to you. Thanks, Carly.